Well, here we are out in this beautiful forest talking about trauma of all things. I just asked you, Mike, do you think that pretty well everybody who experiences a substance use disorder has experienced trauma? I do. I do. Most, if not, you know, all. And, and why I say that is because trauma can mean a lot of different things. You know, our kind of traditional sense of trauma is PTSD, or we've witnessed horrific things, or been, you know, terribly abused in some way. Uh, that's what we call large T trauma. There's also small T trauma, which is more like adverse childhood experiences or maybe you're being raised in a dysfunctional home or there's violence or arguing, fighting, neglect, or at school or you've been bullied. Um, these are all things that affect us, affect our self-esteem, our self-concept, and can lead to, you know, some serious issues with mental illness and addictions. So, big question. Can you get well from a substance use disorder without trauma treatment? Yes, you can. It's rare and it also determines what you mean by well, getting well. I think that people can probably stop drinking, stop, stop using and, and be healthy that way and well that way. But I still think there's a lot of unresolved issues right, that still need to be addressed. So what does trauma treatment look like then? People probably think, oh God, months of therapy. Well, yeah, for some it is months of therapy. Um, and it has to be what we call deep therapy. Uh, but look where we are. You know, this is treatment for trauma. We're having a forest bath in one of the most beautiful rainforests in the world. And uh, this is treatment.